Alright guys, we have already learned how to um, make a new file and save it under our directory with our name. Um, we have learned some basic typing in Microsoft Word, one space between the words, where the periods and the dashes are, and how to use the numbers. Um, just some really basic stuff that we've covered. So now we're going to go into what we're going to do each week for our spelling words, which, which is type them in the sentences that we that we made back in the classroom. So first we're going to start with our name. So it's our name, so it starts with a capital. So remember, hold down that shift key and you're going to type your name, one space, your first name and your last name. All right, then you're going to hit the enter to go down the next line. Then we have to practice our date format. So we're going to type the date today. Now, if this is not to your date today, of course, you're going to type whatever date it is, but this is the date I'm typing this, so that's why I'm going to put it on there. And I'm going to hit enter again, and I'm going to hit one period space, and then there is my Microsoft Word document ready for my first spelling word. So the first spelling word this, this time is November. Now, remember, November is the name of a month, so it is a proper noun, so therefore we need to start it with a capital letter. So going to hold on that shift key and type my N and then the rest of it. I can look at my paper, that's not cheating. And then space dash space. Now there's no squiggly line so we know that we typed it correctly so that's good. Um, very simple sentence, her birthday is in November so the beginning of a sentence always starts with a capital, that's right, her birthday, one space between words, that's all we need is just one, in November. Alright, period. Now I bet you can see the mistake I made, but when I hit space, oh, Microsoft Word tells me I made a mistake. You can see there are little red squigglies under the word November, but if I look, all my letters are the same here, and they're all the same here. What's wrong? Well, my first letter here is not capitalized, and Microsoft Word knows that word November, but it also knows that it's a name, so it needs to be capitalized, and as soon as I fix that, the little red squiggly goes away. So how did I fix that? Well, here I was, I took my little cursor and I clicked right in front of the N, between the N and the O, and see my blinky is right there. I hit the backspace, and I fixed it. All right, shift and N. Then I click off to the side here. I'm at the end of my line. All right, my first sentence is done. Let's hit enter and do the second sentence. Running is our spell next spelling word. Running has a capital. I'm sorry, does not have a capital. It's a lowercase. It is not the name or a proper noun. So, dash. And then my sentence. He was running on the playground. Now I finished my sentence, period, space, and I can see I messed up running. So I can either use my arrow keys and kind of go back to where I messed up, or I can click like I did before, add that N that I'm missing. No squigglies. Looks good. I'm going to click here on the end. Good. And then hit enter. Three, my last one for this uh, demonstration. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is not the specific name of something, so we are just going to type out tomorrow. Space, space. I will turn in my homework tomorrow. Oh, now I can see, you can barely see it, there's a little red squiggly under the I, and there's two things I did wrong. We know that I, when it's by itself, is capitalized, and also it is the beginning of the sentence. So I'm going to click at my I, I'm going to click backspace, shift I, and it all looks good. Alright, so now we are going to have to underline our spelling words because that's what we do when we write them out so we always underline which word is our spelling word so over here November is our spelling word there's two different ways to highlight or to underline the first way is to highlight so if you click in November if you click once the little blinkies in there if you double click it you have just November highlighted okay so that way, when we go up here to where the font section is, and we click on the U for underline, 
it underlines November. And if we click off it, voila, done. Running. The other way is actually much easier. If you just click on the word running and you click on the underline, it actually un underlines that word without highlighting it. All right, tomorrow, we're going to click on tomorrow. We're going to underline it. So there we have underlined the words we want underlined, OK? We have a couple options here. We could bold them. That makes them darker. We could italicize them. That makes them slanted. Um, regardless, we just want them underlined for this exercise. So the final thing we're going to do, the fun thing that you've been waiting for, is uh, change the font of our name. Okay, The rest of it we want to leave the same, but we can change the font of our name. We can click and drag over our name to highlight it. Okay, You can click off to the side. You see I have an arrow pointing the wrong way right there. If I click, it just highlights that line for me. There's a couple options. I can click on this here, but that goes away if you kind of drag your mouse away from it. So I like to just use this box up here. If I click on the arrow next to the font name, there's a ton of different fonts here and you can kind of scroll down through and find one that's fun, one that you like. There's lots of choices. Don't forget they're all in alphabetical order. So, you know, you have a few minutes to play around. So that sounds like fun. Um, I saw one that said chocolate and I'm hungry. So let's find. Here it is. Chocolate dealer. That looks fun. Now, it is fun, but can I see it? Not really. So we need to change the size of the font. That is up here right next to the name of the font. There's a number. This is font size 11. It's pretty standard. These are 11. You can see them just fine. But with a fancy font, sometimes you need to make them bigger. So if you click on that arrow, that down arrow, you just kind of run your mouse over these. You can see all the different sizes. Okay. Now, 72, we're looking a little big. Um, we can go down a little bit. Let's go down to about here. 36. That looks good for that one. Sometimes 18 will look good. It's a little small for this font, but I'm going to go with 36. All right. So there we go. Now, we had already had it saved you know, like we did before because we always save before we start. So now there's two ways I can save it. The first way I can click on this little disk. It's the easiest way. Just click save. The other way is to click on the little circle and then go down to save and click. Either way, it's still saved. All right. And that's how we are going to do our spelling words from now on.